review guy here today and yes I'm back it's been a little bit since I made a video and yes I did get a haircut and yes this is gonna be a cooking video and yes I'm stirring an egg well I'm not looking at the camera but you can see I'm stirring an egg now you're probably wondering what exactly the review guys got going today I'm actually going to show you how to make fried cheese sticks from scratch using cheese sticks like actual mozzarella sticks you buy at the store egg flour and bread crumbs now i'm actually not going to eat this myself i'm just going to make it just so i can make you all a good video on eating so i don't have any new tools to review right now so i can't really do that so i was like what the heck i might as well cook now I'm actually going to be frying this on my side burner outside to prevent my house from smelling up. So what I'm going to do is right now is I'm going to get those cheese sticks out and I'm going to cut them in half. You want to cut them in half or you can do it. Hang on just a minute. I'm going to put y'all down so I can kind of give you an example of what I'm doing here. Okay, so these cheese sticks right here, I'm going to open. And you can use any kind of cheese. I don't know if you can even see me. There we go. Can y'all see me? Hello? Right. Each cheese stick will make two mozzarella sticks. Now you can make them that big, but no one I know is going to eat a cheese stick that big and it might not even fit in the pan I'm going to fry it in. So what I usually do is I cut it in half. So two, four, six right here. Now I haven't made cheese sticks like this before. I've made the keto friendly ones. When I had just like put them on the uh, cookie sheet and straighten it up. When I put them on a cookie sheet and uh, just baked them. I've never actually fried them. So I figured it would be a good video. Then we're going to have to find someone that wants to eat some cheese sticks. That are fried. Because I only eat them when I do it in the oven. So I would say if anybody wants them, hit me up in the comments. But I haven't figured out how to turn those on. And, it was on for a while then it just went off so no need to watch me do this i'll just come back to you when i'm done all i'm going to do is is cut these cheese sticks in half dip them in the flour so what you want to do is not the flour what you want to do is you put it in the egg the flour back in the egg and the breadcrumbs so when i have all that done i'll come back at you and you can see me grill them it'll be about 20 minutes for me and probably not long for you a couple seconds all right. really about so what I'm doing here this is a pan or a pot now this pot or pan or whatever the heck you call it you want to call it is probably a little small for what I need the one I actually need as you can tell is in the sink so we're just gonna do what we got or, uh, we're gonna make with what we got I think this will work we're just gonna have to you know I mean, I'm not frying up that many anyway, maybe like five or six, just test it out. So what you want to do is, is I got some vegetable oil, I believe. Yep, you want to use vegetable oil or peanut oil. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm just going to fill this up. I probably don't need to know that. I'm not actually going to fill it up. I'm just going to, you know, about an inch, maybe. Because once the stuff gets hot and bubbles and stuff, it's a lot more than you think so i put about maybe you know you can kind of see about a quarter maybe a little bit less and then what you're going to need is there's a candy thermometer aka a deep fry thermometer they call them any of those things this one's made by taylor if you want to know where to buy it exactly it's at target so i'll put that in my pocket now we're going to go out to the grill. It's like I was telling y'all a little bit ago, I'm not doing this inside because it'll smell at my house. So, I'm just going to go out here. As you can see, I got a side burner. I'm going to put it on. Damn. We're going to light it up. Guess I should turn on the propane first.
Okay, so now that's lit up. My, uh, I'll just show you. The cheese sticks, like I said, are in the freezer for a minute. What we're going to do is we're going to put a thermometer in here. Yeah, it's hard to get to stand up on a small pan. In the bigger pan, it does it with ease. Okay. So I may have trouble doing that. But what you want is, you want it to be around 300 degrees, I guess. They say that's good for frying. There it is. Got it. Yay, success. Okay, so what you want is you want that to be 300 degrees. Right now it's barely even 100. So I'm going to come back at you when I got that done. And I'm getting ready to fry the cheese stacks. But see y'all back here in about 10 minutes. We'll start frying and we'll see if this comes out. Good. Okay, guys, part three of three. As you can see, my temperature gauge now is at 400 almost. I think it says about 340, 350. So that would be considered good. And yes, that thermometer kept sliding in the pot as I propped it up. So finally, I just used the backing of that to prop it up. So now what we're going to do is, is we're going to take that out because we no longer need it. It's close enough. It's going to be around 400 by the time I actually start. So that's good, that's what you want. Very hot though, don't uh, touch the oil as people probably know. I had experience with that. So now we'll go over here. Well, I've had experience with splashing me. So here's the cheese sticks. You notice I cut them in half like I was talking about a little bit ago. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna do one or two or three at a time. I'm just gonna drop it in there. We'll just do a few. And we're just going to let it cook. Now, if you like it golden, crispy, it's brown. Then it might take a little time for it to get that way. But. I'm just going to like do it the best I can. We'll see what we get. So folks, that's the cut down on how to make fried cheese sticks. I will show you one last picture of it when it's done. And then I'll end the video. Thanks for watching. You'll have a good day. Great week. Peace. Review guy out.